Hello fellow marvelers excelsior to all of you and I hope you're all staying safe and sound Episode 5 of Marvel Studios Loki streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar in India was a veritable feast of easter eggs and shoutouts to the MCU Let's get right into the long list of things to enjoy in this great episode The episode is named after the comic that introduced Thor into the Marvel universe. The new version focuses on Kid Loki's adventures. One of the first easter eggs is the Thanos copter from an old Spider-Man comic dating back to 1979 and having been referenced in Deadpool 2. Thor's hammer Mjolnir or Mew Mew as Darcy Lewis played by the lovable Cat Dennings calls it appears in the layers of rubble above the Loki hideout. Frog Thor tries to reach it from a nearby jar labeled T365. Polybius is an arcane arcade video game that's shrouded in urban myth. This game has not existed officially since 1981, but conspiracy theorists have connected many threads to this supposedly brainwashing game. The Roxy Wine Pinot Noir box is a Marvel Super Corporation shoutout. The God of Outcasts monologue is taken almost verbatim from the 2019 Loki comics. Classic Loki is of course played by Richard E. Grant, famous for his long acting career recently crowned with an Oscar nomination. The hatch which leads to the Loki lair has A in Hindi, presumably the first letter of the word Aapatkalin, which means an emergency exit. The Pizza Planet car has been a favorite of Pixar and therefore Disney. showing up all over Pixar's movies and now finally given a grand role in the MCU it is driven by none other than Owen Wilson who also voices Lightning McQueen in the Cars franchise the Giza pyramids and the Great Sphinx are always a welcome addition to any easter egg list one of the arcade games is a space game featuring the Apollo Soyuz mission which i have recently watched on Apple TV's for all mankind president loki squip you beef witted half face scrubs Reminds me of Captain Haddock from the Tintin comics with his billions of blistering barnacles quotes. Loki tells Sylvie about alligator Loki. It's best not to question it. This is an acknowledgement of the audience's willing suspension of disbelief. Groenwald, the co-creator of Alliath and the inspiration behind Mobius and Mobius, is given a number plate shout out, a common theme in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I actually predicted the my pleasure response given by Loki to Sylvie. So there The Lokis eat the chicken type birds with floating balls for heads that are running around the entire void. Ronan the Accuser's Kree ship, the Dark Aster, is one of the many many crashed ships that are present in the desolate wasteland of the void. Another crashed spaceship is the Shield Helicarrier seen blowing up in Civil War. The Asgard illusion conjured by classic Loki is an awesome max and very timely distraction. allowing Loki and Sylvie to get past Alioth and to the mansion of the villain who will be the villain behind the time variance authority the eagerly awaited reveal will be in the final episode of Loki dropping on the next Loki Wednesday on Disney plus so make sure you tune in to my live stream and let's catch up on lots more marvel and pop culture and lots more sports as well subscribe to open darbar this is aradhya akshat signing off for now and wishing you all a pleasant and safe day and future be awesome max be kind to one another goodbye and see you all next time thanks for listening who do you think will be the villain of loki share your thoughts in the comments below will it be mephisto from wandavision comment now and let's discuss more of the mcu